my friends and welcome back to the studio. My name is David Kessler. Today I want to address a very common question that a lot of artists have and it's about painting commissions. It's like, wow, I got my first painting commission. Now what? <laughs> now what is the process to have a very efficient, positive um, um, experience doing a commission? I've heard so many horror stories uh, from painters, and I think it's the initial part of the process that's so important, and they neglect that, and that's what causes the problems. Now, <clears throat> I love doing painting commissions. People say, oh, I hate them. I never want to do another commission. Well, that's because you're not doing them right. Uh, it's a great opportunity to get to know a client better, uh, it's a great way to get a kind of a glimpse into the way they think and the way they live and, and, and the place where your art's going to go. Uh, it's just a lot of really cool things about it. It gives you a chance to put artwork in their home or their office that's going to make their life better. I mean, I think of the artwork that I have in my home, and I mean, it makes my life better. It enriches my life. I see it every day, and I couldn't imagine not having it there. That's the opportunity that you have when you do a commission for somebody. It's a big responsibility and you want it to be positive experience for you and for the client. All right. The thing I like to do is have, I have an initial meeting with the person. Now, you know, this can't happen if I'm doing it in another state or another place, but if it's local, this is the most important part is the initial meeting with the client. Because in this meeting, you'll want to find out a lot of things. Number one, you want to find out not only what they want and what colors they want to match and where the artwork goes and the size and all that. Those things are very important. But you want to feel out the client. You want to sort of vet them by asking them a range of questions uh, designed to let you know, number one, are they serious about it? Number two, do they know your work and like what you do? Uh, number three, do they really want something different or do they just want something that somebody else could do for them? I like to make sure that these people that contact me, and most of them do, I mean, I, I really haven't been to one that people didn't know what I, what I did and they really liked it and that's the reason they contacted me. But the meeting also is to see if you and the client are a fit, regardless of how much they like your work, if, if, if the relationship's not a fit, I walk away. Uh, I mean, I love it when you go to one and they say, oh man, we love everything you do. We've seen every, all the paintings you have on your website or at your studio. We've seen them. There's nothing that we've seen that we don't like. Bingo! That's <laughs> your ultimate client for a commission. But it's not always like that. So you as the artist and the designer and all that, you have to sort of feel it out in this initial meeting. That's why it's so critical because I've walked away before. And one, I remember in particular when somebody kept asking me, kept asking me in a 30-minute meeting, what if I don't like it? What if I don't like it? What if I don't like it? Well, ultimately, I can't live with that. You know, I, I, can't, I can't do work for a person that's worried about if they're going to like it or not. So I walked away from, you know, what was a multi-thousand dollar commission because it's just not going to work. And that's not the only one. I've walked away from other ones before because the feeling is not right. All right. The second important thing that you get is you get all the information that you need in that initial meeting to put into a contract. <clears throat> and you tell the people, you say, look, we, I work on a contract basis. We're going to have a contract. I'm going to put all the things we talked about tonight or today in the contract, I'll me email it to you tomorrow. You sign it, you know, read it, sign it, email it back or mail it back with a check for 50% of the price of the work. That's right. You heard me. You need a contract and a check for 50% of the cost of the commission before you start working. Before you start working, right? This assures that the client is committed to the project. It assures that they're mentally and financially committed to the project and that they're ready for you 
to move forward. The contract also shows you as a very organized professional. Because right? I can tell people when they go in, it's okay, you know, depending on the size, and lots of times I'll take sizes of canvases over and we'll look at them and, and determine what size is going to work. And I say, okay, you know, for this piece, based on what you want me to do, it's going to be a minimum of 25% over the retail cost. So it's going to be about this cost. And I'll finalize that when I send you the contract. Um, the contract also specifies how many times I go to their house. And it's two times. I go for the initial meeting, and then I go to deliver the painting and install it. Those are the two times. I put in there, if you want me to come back anytime between those two meetings, you know, it's $150 an hour plus cost of mileage. This keeps the client from saying, hey, why don't you come over, blah, blah, blah. I learned this the hard way. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. So, so put that in the contract. Any other parameters that you want to put in there to protect yourself, uh, like making changes, you know, you have to kind of feel it out with the client, see what's reasonable, put it in the contract. That's what it's for. All right? That's what it's for. It's to make sure each party knows the responsibilities, what the costs are, what the, what the parameters for the piece are, size, color, placement, etc., etc., etc. Right? You want that all done ahead of time. So all you have to do is get in your studio and paint. Okay. So once it can't, the contract signed, once I get the, the check, I'm ready to go, man. I'm in the studio doing the work. Now, sometimes people will say, Hey, can I come watch you paint? It's like, man, yeah, come over to the studio. That's awesome. I would love for you to sit here while I paint this thing. It's great. Now, if it takes you a long time to paint, I paint fast. So, you know, in a couple of hours, the thing's done. Um, but, but if that's not a concern, don't worry about it. Come to your studio, get started on the work. Now, what I do for clients is, and this is customer service, I film me painting the thing. I always film it. Right? I don't tell them I'm going to film it, but I film it, put it on a little uh, you know, stick, and then I give it to them when I deliver the painting. I say, what's this? It's the filming of me painting the thing, uncut, unedited, the whole process. Right. And they love that. It's unbelievable because they can take still shots out of it, whatever they want to do with it. But they get to see you do the whole process with the painting. And it's a surprise that I never tell them about. I just give it to them when I deliver the painting. The other thing is I don't send, you know, progress pictures and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I paint fast. I don't have time to stop and take a bunch of pictures. Plus, I want them to be surprised when I bring the painting over, I want to see their faces when I take the paper off the, off the face of it and they say, wow, I cannot believe that piece. That's what you want. That's priceless. That builds anticipation. That builds excitement in your client. And uh, the experience is so much more enriched when you have the ability to do that and you follow through with that process. It's all about building excitement building anticipation, and then uncover the thing, and wow, that's it. And they're blown away by the amazing thing that you have done for them. And we never talk about little details, and I've never, ever had somebody say, well, can you change this or can you change that? And a lot of that is because in the front end, they know what I do. I make sure they understand what I do, how I do it. I'm professional. I'm organized. Uh, I... I Give them a contract. We talk about all the, all the stuff. Everything's in the contract. So it's really clear. So they are confident that what comes out of the studio is going to be right for them. And all of that takes place in the initial consultation with the client. It's so important. If you do your job there, they'll be happy with what you produce. But you have to do it on the front end to make it worthwhile on the back end. Okay, so that gives you some tips on how to successfully manage the process of doing a painting commission. And I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have painter friends that need to know this information, right, and we all do, forward this video to them so they can see it and be as knowledgeable about it as you are so they can make the process 
uh, less painful and more professional the next time they do a commission. Hey, thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know, hit the big red button up there and subscribe so you can get these every week. Um, if you'd leave some comments, if you have questions about this process or anything about doing commissions, leave that down there and I'll address those and uh, we'll just have a big community discussion about it. All right. Thanks for joining me. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you on the next video.